Hey guys and welcome! Today's video is another requested one and it's called Snake on a Budget. This video is about saving a little bit of money on these guys. Of course you should never ever buy an animal if you cannot afford them. Today's video is only gonna be about saving money on specific kinds of snake. I'm talking about the bull python, the corn snake, the mill snake and the California king snake. Also boas can go into that category. These snakes are commonly known as good beginner snakes or good second time snakes like the boa I would not recommend as a first time snake not the bull python as well I would definitely recommend them as your second snake snakes such as milk snake corn snake and the Californian king snakes are good beginner snakes. these five types of snakes are the ones I'm gonna talk about today when I'm talking about snakes on a budget having snakes can be quite quite expensive not only does it cost something to feed them the electricity bill but also when buying them they can be very expensive today I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks on how to to lower your amount of money you're using on them without uh, risking the health of the animal the first thing you can do is something that I in general do when it comes to terrarium and that kind of stuff is that you can buy secondhand because when you go out and you buy brand new it's often way way more expensive than if you're buying secondhand Queenie's terrarium or basically all of the terrariums I have in here except for the one for my tarantulas are bought secondhand there's nothing wrong with secondhand just make sure that that there are no cracks in it that it's not broken or anything like that and when you bring it home give it a good wash down and it's basically as good as new the second thing you can do is instead of using substrate such as repti bark or stuff like that you can change that and use substrate such as newspaper I myself is very keen on using newspaper because they're easy to come by easy to clean and they're very easy to store somewhere they're not taking up a lot of space of course newspapers aren't that pretty they aren't that beautiful to look at and if you want a more natural looking terrarium you will definitely need to go something like repti bark but repti bark can be very expensive because that when the snake poop or pee you basically have to clean out the whole terrarium or you have to scoop out quite a lot of it and then you have to fill it in with something new whereas the newspapers are very very cheap often you get them for free in the mail we do here anyway and you basically just take all of it out threw it out and then put in something new so you can save quite an amount of money by changing the substrate to newspaper the third thing you can do is when buying feeding rats or feeding mice for your animal instead of buying them at the pet store where they're often expensive you can buy them at reptile expos or you can buy them from private breeders often you will get quite a large amount of rat or mice already frozen already packed in ready to be thawed for almost like half of what you pay at the pet store so I can definitely recommend that before we bred ours ourselves we used to buy them from a private breeder or at the reptile expo and we would get a big amount for almost no money so that's also a way that you can save some money the fourth thing you can do which works with the snakes that I've mentioned before corn snake the mill snake the Californian king snake bull python and boas is that instead of using a heating lamp you can go for a heating mat these all these snakes can thrive without a heating lamp as long as you get them the heating mat also what I do is that in this room there's plenty of light so all of these animals do get the light that they need but the thing you need to remember is that big breeders who both breed corn snakes boas and bull python almost always keep them in racks and inside these racks it's completely dark so your animal can thrive perfectly well with just using a heating mat of course I have to say there are lots and lots of different opinions this is my opinion this is how I'm doing it's not necessarily the way you can do it but I have noticed that I am saving a little bit of money by switching from the heating lamp to the heating mat also another thing you can do it's not necessarily gonna help save you money but it is gonna help is that every month you can put aside a little bit of money into a separate account for your animal in case of a vet or in case that a terrarium gets broken and you need to buy something new and in that case you won't stand in the middle when it's already happened and you don't have the money for it I do that I put aside a bit of money every month for all of my animals and it has saved me a couple of times specifically back when Noelle and my golden girl they got a respiratory infection and I had to go to the vet Vets they can be quite expensive and it really was but luckily I could just withdraw the money that I had already saved up every month no problem at all so that's just an extra tip for you guys oh hello noelle you decided to come out and join us thank you sweetie 
All of these tips and tricks, I use them on a daily basis. All of the things that I've told you are something that I do every day. These things I do with great success and without risking the health of my animal. You don't have to follow all of these tips and tricks. You can, of course, buy whichever stuff you like. And if you like to buy brand new, please do that, of course. These are if you want to save a little bit of extra money. These tips and tricks might help you do that. If you have any tips and tricks yourself, please just put them right down here in the comment section. And if I gather enough of them, I will, of course, do a part two of this for all of you to see. Thank you guys so much. I really do hope you enjoyed this video on how to have snakes on a budget. This was a requested video. I absolutely love doing these. Please do send me some more requests so I can do more of these wonderful videos. If you have any comments or questions, just put them right down below in the comment section. Also, please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Justice Uncle. Thank you guys for now and bye bye